Hello viewers, in this video I'll be going over natural gas, ETF ticker symbol, UNG. Today we are up 4.4% on the 1 hour chart. We are touching overbought RSI and the 4 hour chart we also see it touch the overbought RSI as well. We are still on positive MACD and if we expand out to the daily chart we are currently are at positive MACD and we are approaching overbought RSI and I'm quite surprised by the movement we saw in next in the past couple of days natural gas made a very nice reversal and we even breached out several resistance and the first resistance that I signaled out was the 50-day moving average which it breached mid last week and then over over the weekend, we breached above the 200-day moving average, which is quite surprising. But there is some concern. Reason we see the volume, we do not see a spike in volume or a gradual inc increase in volume as we climb higher. So there are some concerns. But overall, I do see this trend not quickly reversing, but possibly just gradually head down lower for next coming days so I do see a possible support at the 200 day moving average since we're above past resistance this act as our support level at the moment and for resistance the next resistance that I see is where we left off back in mid-September around the price of $23.34 so if we were to move on higher, that price movement is roughly around 5% to the upside and to the downside is roughly 2.4% to the downside. And let's head to the forecast model. On here, I'll go day by day where natural gas will head to the next coming days. So we have one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. Once again, this forecast model is now available in the link below, so check it out. So which one of these forecast models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend. We have the current trend right here, and below it is the trend that I believe is the best match. This trend dates back to May 5th to July 30th, 2010. So let me point out why these two charts are similar. So we start off below the middle Bollinger Band and the start of the trend, and then we proceeded to climb higher, averaging above the middle Bollinger Band for several days. And then we proceeded to break down to touch the bottom Bollinger Band right here. However, we do manage to continue to break on higher, even breach above the upper Bollinger Band, which is quite rare. So I'm quite surprised what happened. We got a real nice snowstorm over in the Northeast. So we do see this price action happening. So we have those points and the trend below. So we start off on the bottom Bollinger Band. We touch or start off bottom middle Bollinger Band and then we made a nice reversal to touch an average above the middle Bollinger Band. After that, we once again touch the bottom Bollinger Band. And then after that, we finally see a breach above or touch the upper Bollinger Band once more. So we see those points. We have about one, two, three, four points. And we also have one, two, three, four points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the trend that we just examined was May 5th to actually May 5th to July 30th, 2010. Back then, natural gas was down roughly around, I would say, 13.1%. Again, this is a forecast of where natural gas had to in the past year. So do take this as a grain of salt. And here's the line that graph that I compared it to. So it overlapped pretty well. And once again, this forecast model is now available in the link below for free. So check it out. So if you scroll down, you can check several tickers and see and examine your own forecast on your own and see the other models and you can compare it on your own so if you enjoyed this video comment like subscribe and thank you for watching